Namaste and welcome for another yoga practice together. If you like this video and would love to see more, please consider supporting me on my Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you can contribute towards the creation of more contents in this space. With deep gratitude, I would love to thank all my patrons that are helping me to create more contents and with better quality. Enjoy this practice. Namaste. Good morning. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Ready to start for today's practice? We're going to sit in the beginning, so find your space. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope you will find this practice inspiring and enjoyable and relaxing. So, find a comfortable sitting position. This position in yoga is called Sukhasana, and Sukham means easy, comfortable. So find your own comfortable position. It might be with your legs bent, cross legs. It might be with one leg up. It might be that maybe you need a pillow under your uh, hip bones. So again, find your own. And when you find your own Sukhasana, let's bring our hands on top of our knees and try to extend your spine long. The top of your head is looking towards the ceiling and your hip bones are heavy, your legs are heavy, everything is relaxing down. Now inhale, embrace the space with your arms and exhale, bring our palms together through the center line of the body and stop at them in front of your heart. Close our eyes just for a moment. Acknowledging the breath. Feeling the two moments of the breath. The inhale and the exhale. Two parts of the same rhythm, like ocean waves. And let's set together our intention to cultivate calm, relaxed breath, calm, relaxed practice. Release gently your arms again, inhaling up and exhaling. Go forward, release your hands and release your head. Just for a moment. Let's take a deep breath here. And exhaling, roll your spine one vertebra at a time. Your head comes last. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling again to the center. Let's go with the right arm on the left uh, knee, inhaling up with the left arm, exhaling, creating a nice spiraling of your torso. Look towards the left shoulder. Again, a deep inhale and deep exhale. Inhale and exhale, release this twist to the torso, inhaling up and exhaling to the center. Now it's the left hand, let's go towards our right knee, inhaling, right arm up, extending the spine long, exhaling, looking towards your right shoulder. Few deep breaths from your nostrils. With your next exhaling, release this 
spiral of your torso. Now change your feet, inhaling up and exhaling again forward, releasing down, trying to release the forehead on the ground. Your hip bones are still connected to the floor or you can create a pillow for your forehead. One deep breath on your nostrils here. Exhaling, simply roll your spine, come up, the tip of your head. Now let's go on our hands and knees. So hands and up on our knees. And just find a comfortable position here with your hands just under your shoulders and your knees just under your hips. From here, we're gonna inhale, looking up, and exhale, knees down. And again, inhale, up, and exhale, bend, suck your belly in, and keep doing that, inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. A couple more of this. Let's see. Let's see. Now your next exhale. Go with your hips towards your heels, releasing down your arms and releasing your head gently. Let's take one deep breath breath here. And then moving forward, inhaling. The previous position and then point to your toes. Exhaling, come up with your cute bones, lower the ceiling, releasing gently your head. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. If you'd like, you can extend one heel at a time towards the floor by bending and alternating your knees. Keep breathing deeply from your nostrils. Releasing the top of the head towards the floor, releasing the neck gently. And now come up with both of your heels up, inhale. Exhale, down, your heels towards the floor as much as you can. Inhaling, up. Exhaling, down. Inhaling, up. Exhaling down. Now we're going to stay here as much as you can. Your knees can be bent a little bit. Find your own position. Five deep breaths. One, two, the gaze towards the center of the knees or the belly button. Three, four, Extending the spine long. And five. Bend your knees. Look at your hands. Inhaling, walking towards your hands. Slowly and gentle. Place your feet together. Exhaling, grab your elbows. Release the spine. Release the head. Again, find your own position. You can have your knees bent a little bit. That is more comfortable for your spine. One deep breath here. And exhaling, releasing the arms, grab your ankles. And try to push your belly towards your thighs. Releasing the head. Couple of breaths here. Remember to bend your knees if you need to. Don't practice any pain. Now release your head, your hands gently on the floor, point your fingers, inhale, looking forward. 
exhaling, releasing the spine down, releasing the head. Again, inhaling. Stretching forward. Exhaling, releasing down. Last time, inhaling. Now exhale, stay here. Five deep breaths. You can alternate it in the knees, extending one knee at a time. You can touch the floor, bend your knees a little bit more. Three. Four. Using the shoulders. Looking forward and up. And five. Now inhale, bend your knees, extend the spine long, come up. Exhaling, releasing the shoulders, touching the air, and come back to the center. Your feet are together, and your hands join in front of your heart. Again, let's bring our eyes close and our gaze towards your feelings. Sensations of the body, feeling of the breath, calm, relaxed breath, calm, relaxed practice. Preparing for our Surya Namaskar, some salutations. Inhaling. Looking forward and up, extending the spine, extending the arms. Exhaling, come forward and down. If you need, bend your knees, release your head down. Let's bring your right foot behind. Inhale, release your knee, up with your gaze. Exhale, roll of your feet behind, release the head. Inhale, right foot forward, looking up, release the left knee. Exhale, close your feet forward and release the head, the head release the spine. Inhale, extending the spine long with the arms come up. Exhale, send your down of the body under the mirror. Inhale, up, exhale. Down, left foot behind, inhale, looking up, exhale, release the head, left foot forward, inhale, looking up, exhale, close your feet together, release the head, inhale, come up, long torso, exhale, to the center. One more. Inhale. Looking up. Exhale. Releasing down. Right foot. Inhale. Looking up. Exhale. Release your head gently. Right foot forward. Inhale. Release the left knee. Exhale. Close your feet together. Inhale, come up. Exhale, to the center line and out. Once more, inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, left foot behind. Exhale, both your feet behind, release the head. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, release your head, feet together. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, knees down. Now inhale, looking up. We're going to stay here, five deep breaths. One. Udvahastasana. Two, stretching the spine long. Three, feet together, arms together. Four, 
and five. Exhale, up the space, and release down. Keep the mouth on five deep breaths. One, releasing the head. Two, you can say no to head or yes. Three, four, remember you can bend your knees. And five, knee hanging, point to your fingers again, let's sit here, five deep breaths. One, two, extend the spine, three, four, and five, release your hands now, now let's go back with the right foot and also with the left. This is called many, many different names, Halakasana, Halakasana. And it's basically like if you are a piece of wood on top of four uh, feet. So try to stay parallel to the floor as much as you can. Five deep breaths. Then you in. Suck your body in and contract your bruise a little bit. So this is not happening. Two. You can look down or a little bit forward. Three. Four. And five. Exhale. Try to go down as much as you can and low as much as you can. Slowly and then release completely down. Now, find yourself in this position with your hands nearby your ribs. Your shoulders are away from your ears and your elbows are nearby your torso. You can relax your head on your chin or on your forehead. Again, find your own position. Your feet are parallel and into the same line of your hips. And your belly is a little bit engaged. So you can suck in a little bit your belly. Imagine there is like a little ice block uh, between your abs and the floor. So you need to suck in a little bit your belly. From here, inhaling, Shalabhasana, you're going to go up with your torso. Try not to use your hands. Exhaling, releasing more at the time, and like that. And again, inhaling up, and exhaling down. Don't stress your neck. Inhaling up. Inhale 
Try to stay here and exhale. Three big breaths from your nostrils. One. Release the shoulders away from your ears. Two. Three. Exhale. Release down. Again, inhaling. Come up. Now try to stay here. Five big breaths on your nose. One. Release your neck. Two. Three. Four. And five. Exhale. Let's go down. One last time. Inhale, come up. We're going to try to stay here seven deep breaths. If you feel it's enough for you, you can come down anytime. One. Two. Three. Inhale, come up with the torso. Four, when you exhale, come up with your legs. Five. Six. And seven. Exhale, release down. Now we're going to create a nice relaxed position. From here, you can bring your hands together. And your palms can be up and create a pillow for your forehead. Release the elbows to the side. Release the weight of the torso, the weight of the legs. And try to bring your uh, big toes together and release the heels to the sides. Feeling the relaxation of your lumbar spine. Couple of deep breaths here, releasing the weight. Again, let's bring our hands to the same line on your ribs. Let's bring our feet to the same line of our hips. Inhaling, belly in. Suck the belly in and push away the floor. Madhuryasana, cut pose. Exhaling, let's go back into the balasana. Belly in, release your head. Uttinta balasana. Your hands are forward, your elbows are relaxed down. Take a couple of deep breaths here on your own face. Cultivating calm, relaxed breath. Mm-hmm. 
using the head gently four and five. Bend your knees, look forward towards your hands, inhaling one big step. Close your feet together, opening the spine with gaze. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale and come up. Sending the spine long with your arms. Exhale. Towards your center, the sound is to the Let's take one deep breath here. Now we're going to go through the same sequence in our stops. For Surya Namaskar, variation A. Inhale up. Exhale, down, release your head. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, hold your feet behind and throw down as much as you can. Now inhale, push your body up and really engage the knees, engage the belly. Exhaling, come up with your hips and release your head. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Bend your knees. One big step. Inhale, looking forward now, feet together, exhaling, Uttanasana, knees down, inhaling, come up, stretch your spine long, exhaling, Samasthi, come back to your center. Now opening your feet to the sides and place your hands on your waist. From here, I want you to extend your arms and imagine a line from your wrist. This line is going to touch your heels. So find your own placement of the feet with a parallel. Now let's go with the right foot to one side and the left foot a little bit to the same side. Let's choose the right for now. Now let's go bend our right knee. And the knee should be parallel to the ankle, so on top of your ankle. Don't go um, over your ankle, stay there. Place your hands on your waist. Feel your hip bones. Imagine these hip bones are two eyes, and I want you to have your eyes looking forward. So we're not looking to the same side of our foot, but we're looking forward. Really engage the back leg, and um, the little muscle on the sides of your rotula, of your knee. From here, extending the arms, stretching, like if your fingers are going even more towards the sides of the room, and extend your gaze towards your breath. Let's stay here for five deep breaths. Virabhadrasana, warrior pose. One. Release your shoulders. Two. And in. Three. Four. And five. Now release the right arm on top of your right side. And extend the left to the other side of the room. So you want to create a nice, beautiful line from your fingers to your toes. Now remember to have your knees on top of your ankle. Bend it in. Remember to have all of your hips looking forward. You can stay here, but remember to have your uh, right arm relaxed. Don't place your weight on your right shoulder. 
or you can go down as much as you can. Really extending this line, Ashwagandhasana. Five deep breaths. One, the gaze towards your left hand. Two, stretching leg if you're reaching something. Three,
back to the center. Again, let's open our feet. Not so much this time. Extending our arms. And let's prepare for Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. We've seen this last week. So again, rotate to the right. In here we rotate the left foot as well. Inhale, let's go towards the right. And sending, releasing up with the left arm. Right with the legs. On your nose. One. Other side. Inhaling the foot towards the left. Exhaling, releasing down. Find your own position. Five deep breaths. Your gaze can be forward or up towards your right arm. One. Two. Exhaling, feet parallel, and place your hands down. Now let's go behind with our hands. I'm going to turn just to make you understand what I mean. Let's go with our fingertips behind and let's reach for the center of your shoulder blades. And then closing our hands together. If this is not comfortable for you, you have this variation of taking one. Um, Wrist, so find your own variation, or you can come up and then closing the hand and the palms together into a pre standing. From here, let's rotate to the right again, and let's rotate to the left. Now I want to imagine again our, uh, our hips, eyes, they're looking towards the right, completely, as well as your shoulders, so you're squared, towards the right. So again, from here, your hands behind in the position you choose. Inhale, coming up the legs. Exhale, bend the knee. Let's go forward with our belly towards the thighs and releasing the top of the head towards the top of your, the point of your foot. Your knee can be in a straight bend or you can extend as much as you can. So find your own relation. Five deep breaths. One. Let's root our right big toe to the ground. Two. Let's rotate and pull our right hip behind. Three. Four. And five. Again, you can bend the knee. Inhale, you come up. Exhale, let's go to the other side. So let's rotate towards the left. Again, your hips and your shoulders are looking square towards the left. Now, inhale, looking up, palms together. Exhale, you can bend the knee or stretch. And release the belly towards the thighs, release the head towards your foot. Five deep breaths here. One, let's root our left big toe to the ground. 
two, let's rotate and pull the left hip behind. Three. Four. And five. Inhaling, you can bend the knee. Come up. Stretching your spine. Exhaling. Let's close our feet together. And let's release our hands. Now you can just rotate the wrist a little bit. Just massage in the air. One direction and the other. Now have your feet together and as fast as you can. Padasana position, long term pose. Inhaling, let's go up. Exhaling, let's go down and release. Inhaling, looking forward. Exhaling, going back with your feet and down as much as you can. One inch from the ground. Inhaling, looking up, engaging your knees. Exhaling, let's go up your hips and release your head. Now we're going to go sitting and to do so let's bend our knees and look towards our hands. From here feel the weight of your hips. Simply let's go with one knee in front of your the right knee in front of your right uh, wrist and the left knee in front of your left wrist. So your ankles are crossed. From here, very simply, let's go down and sit comfortably on the ground. <laughs> this is just one variation, very beginner to understand this uh, transition. From here, let's stretch our feet and legs. Let's release our knees, let's release the toes, the space between the toes, your ankles. And then have your knees and toes looking up. And have the top of the head looking up. And have your big bones grounded, very low and relaxed. Dandasana. Your hands on the sides of your uh, hips. If you don't feel like your spine is okay, your torso is okay with that, you can bend your knees a little bit. So you can find your open. You can sit here extending the spine. Let's go one big breath. And then inhaling, looking up. Exhaling, let's go forward. If you need to, bend your knees so that you can touch your toes. Let's grab our big toe by putting two fingers inside the big toe and then closing the first finger and thumb. Inhaling, looking up, stretching the spine. Exhaling, belly towards the thighs, one vertical at a time, release gently and release the head. Five deep breaths here, releasing the shoulders, releasing the head. Try to experience the breathing of your belly. So each time you inhale, your belly is expanding. Each time you exhale, your belly is going to the center of the receiving. My uh, heel is as 
much possible, as, as close as we can, to the um, center of your torso. And the knee is doing a 90, 90 degree uh, angle in your foot. Now let's place our hands on top of our thigh, knee and foot are looking up. Inhaling, stretching forward, try to grab your um, foot if you can. Remember you can always bend the knee or if you can, you can try to grab the opposite uh, wrist and have your chin mudra with your uh, released hand. Exhale, let's release our head towards the knee. Jana Shasana. Five big breaths here. One. Two. Again, your heel as much as possible, as close as possible to the roots of your torso. Inhaling, let's stretch forward, even bend the knee, just grab the foot or grab your opposite wrist. Exhaling, releasing the head gently towards the knee. Janu Shirshasana, five deep breaths. One. Jamu means knee. Two. Kirsha means head. Three. So in this position, we are releasing the head towards the knee. Four. Remember, it's not the goal that matters, but the direction. Five. Inhaling, looking forward and up. Exhaling, releasing the shoulders. Inhaling, rewind, come up. Exhaling, again, the nasana. <laughs> now we're going to bend both of our knees and release it to the sides. So, usually called butterfly pose. This is Bandha Manasana. Just release the knees for a couple of breaths. Let's go towards one side and towards the other side. Once more. Keep moving the back to the key and towards the other side. Now come back to the center. And I want you to imagine your feet are like a book, a mountain book. Press the outside of the foot together. And try to allow your feet to open like an open book. So don't press them together. See what happens to my knees. But release and open the feet. You can grab your toes or your ankles, and the knee and the elbows are going to the inside of your uh, thighs. So now imagine your uh, knees are pulled uh, towards the two sides of the room. And imagine your head is pulled towards the ceiling. So you have these two forces to the sides and up. Inhaling with these two forces happening, stretching the spine long, releasing the hip bones. Exhaling, let's push our heart forward. So really try to extend the spine. Go as much as you can. You don't need to go down. You can just stay here. Remember to have these two forces happening to the sides and then the pulling of your head that is now looking forward. 
opening the chest each time you inhale, releasing each time you exhale. A couple more breaths here. Opening the chest, expanding your heart. Releasing everything that is not necessary, the shoulders, the center of your forehead, the jaw. And with your next exhale, just roll the spine and release your head. And we're going to stay here for five deep breaths. Just wherever you are, remember to release everything that is not necessary. One. Two. Three. Releasing 
the lower part of the spine just by rolling towards the sides. Or if you want, you can create circles. Big circles around your um how do you call that in English? Oxygen? Yeah, the lower part of your spine. Now let's open our arms to the sides and exhaling, releasing your knee towards one side. You choose the one and then releasing the head to the opposite side. Feeling this lovely spiraling of the torso. And you can choose to put the hand of the side you chose on top of your knees. Try to release the opposite shoulder to the floor. back into our intention of calm, deep, relaxed breath. Experiencing the feelings and the sensations of the body which are emerging spontaneously. Massage the crown of your head. Exhaling, let's go towards the other side. So, once more here, you can place your hands on top of the knees and release the shoulders and project your gaze towards the opposite sides. Remember, you also have Ardha or Pasana. 
which is half lotus pose. Or if you're a practitioner, and a practitioner, is that English? Like if you practice <laughs> for a longer time and your knees are okay, you can go into a full Padmasana pose. Whichever feels more comfortable. Remember, don't push, don't push, everything is coming. Inhaling, let's go up. Stretching, exhaling, set the line of the body, use your hands, come to the mudra in front of your heart, releasing the shoulders. Top of the head is long towards the ceiling, and the hip bones are heavy and relaxed towards the ground. Let's close our eyes. Bye. Wow.